Hi, this is Corey Davenport, live in historic downtown Alton, Illinois, the birthplace of the cool. And by the cool, I mean Miles Davis. You're never going to find a better statue of Miles Davis anywhere in the world. So that's just the start of this place. Here we have Shea Maryland's. Shea Maryland's is one of the best places in town to get a good martini in a great atmosphere. Inside, it's a very classy joint. Extremely classy. All the Golden Era movie pictures everywhere in there. Good place to bring your parents. Good place to bring your girlfriend. Good place to bring anybody. And one of the best parts about it is this patio. On this patio, I have seen some really great national bluegrass acts, really great national jazz acts as well. I mean, it goes without saying we have Miles Davis. Of course we have jazz. And this, this, this sir right here is Jake. Hey, Corey. How are you? Not bad. What is it that you do here, Jake? Well, I'm the manager here. I uh, do all the catering events to the parties. So, uh, I'm kind of, kind of do it all. Awesome. Actually, Jake here served me a drink about seven months ago that led to, uh, my current relationship. That was, uh, I, I remember that night. Uh, you guys had a, she was a pretty girl, by the way. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you, uh, you enjoyed a few cocktails that night. I remember that. I mean, I would, I would say it was under ten. Yeah, I, I, yeah, definitely. I'd say about eight. <laughs> Definitely. Martinis, of yes, course. Of course. Yeah. So, so uh, I understand a lot of love happens here on Shea Maryland's? Oh, sure. Actually, uh, Marilyn can t will tell you a little bit about this place. Oh, Marilyn herself. Tell me a little bit about this establishment. I could tell you a lot about it. Uh, give me the brief version. We have about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, you, said, you said you met your uh, current... Uh, Front here, and we have had approximately 20 to 30 couples meet here, date here, and and get married, and they still come in. Do they get married here? No, no, not at all. But but it's a great place to meet nice people. I would say so. So tell me a little bit about the establishment. When did it open? The establishment opened in uh, 1999. Our kitchen opened in 19. What, I'm, the kitchen opened in uh, 2009. 2009, I'm yeah. sorry. And um, it, it's been very successful. We have a uh, great clientele, excellent, an excellent staff, which uh, Jacob does head. And then, and then I get the final say-so. Ooh. I know you have an excellent kitchen in here. I love the crab cakes. Absolutely love them. I had them probably right about the time the kitchen opened. Do you still make those? Oh, we do. Just exactly, and they're wonderful. Ooh, what else do you make? We have uh, beef, kebab. beef kebabs. We have. I need a. I need a menu. <laughs> <laughs> we, the, the tenderloin kebabs are our number one seller. A blue cheese sauce, and you either get a choice of a baked potato or a baked spinach. Ooh, and uh, what kind of drinks? Do you make out here? I, I notice you have a uh, bit of a uh, concoction line here. What is it that you're going to make with this? Sure. So uh, Frankie's going to make you a, a streetcar named Desire. Uh, the, Ooh, uh, Stella. It is a candy bar flavored martini. I'll let you be the judge what the uh, flavor is, but uh, it's more flavored on the uh, butterscotch and the mix of hazelnut liqueur, white Godiva, white chocolate liqueur, and a vanilla vodka. Awesome, awesome. We'll make it up. Let's see how it tastes. I mean, I'm a huge Tennessee Williams fan. Tennessee Williams, you know, is uh, right over there in St. Louis. That's right. Yeah, he's been to Alton a few times. I believe he wrote about it, sometimes fondly, mostly fondly, actually. I think he liked Alton a lot more than he liked St. Louis. Ooh, so uh, you're not going to tell me what kind of candy bar this is? Uh, I'll let you guess. You're going to let me guess. You think I'm a candy bar aficionado? You think that's a thing I do? I think you might know what it is. Oh! Oh, are you making it special for me? Well, you better shake it, shake your head with it a little bit. Give it some rhythm. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, the glass is actually decorated with caramel, chocolate. You decorate the glass. Yes. Ooh, that's fancy. It's like sugary little spider webs in there. 
Mm-mm-mm. All right, all right. So you want me to, to down this and tell you what it tastes like? Uh, not yet. Oh, oh, not yet. I'm sorry. I'm a little grabby with my drinks. A little bit grabby. Oh, that's pretty. That's real pretty. You you got to get a shot of this. Come here and get a shot of this. This is, ooh. I, I almost don't want to drink it. It's so beautiful. Oh, oh, it's like latte art, only the adult version. All right, let me let me take a sippy sip and tell you what it is. I got a little more of it in my mustache than I'd like, but I would say it's a uh, Snickers. Yeah. Is this a Snickers? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. This is delicious. It, it actually tastes like a Snickers bar. I'm not kidding. Oh. Which, Frankie, was my high school nickname whenever you were playing in Bear Hug Jersey. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You name, you name the streetcar after? No, you just made it flavored like Snickers after me. Streetcar Named Desire, though, is actually one of my favorite plays. Oh. Mm. All right, do, do you have anything I can wipe my mustache with? Just, I do have a flavor saver for a reason. Awesome, awesome. So what else about Sham Island should uh, the people of Illinois and the whole world know? Okay, so uh, Frankie, actually, right here, he does open mics on every other Thursday, and uh, we have live music every Friday, Saturday, and every other Monday. We do uh, from classic rock to jazz to oldies um, to bluegrass, I guess. I, I have seen some awesome bluegrass acts out here. I've also seen some awesome jazz acts out here. It's... um. And summer nights, like, I like walking by the fountains and everything, and I just catch, like, this air of awesome music, and I go, man, I want some crab cakes and a martini. You know that crab cakes and a martini you get on a summer evening? Well, in Alton, crab cakes and martini, perfect place to get it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this. You have a viewer that says they love my stash? Well, then maybe I should uh, get a little foamy and make it dance. <laughs> That was a really bad mustache dance. I'm usually much better at mustache dances. You'll have to take my word for that, though. Somebody says finish it, finish it. That's a bad influence. Mm. For real, though, Frankie, that was delightful. I couldn't even tell I was alcoholic. That's how we do it here. Mmm. You could have told me that was a delicious melted sundae, and I would have chugged it down and been like, oh, wow, that was so good. So uh, what other drinks do you specialize in? You seem to be a bit of a drink master. Uh, so we do all sorts of martinis. We have about 30 of them. Um, actually, on Tuesday nights down here, we do a martini special. Uh, about seven of the 30 we do at $5, and they're usually about 10 to 13 So we split them in half. Um, we've got anything from uh, raspberry lemonade-style martinis to... A uh, wide variety of chocolate martinis, from uh, Snicker martinis to like coconut style martinis, and uh, they jump all over the place with mixtures of orange and pineapple and whatever your heart desires. My heart desires a lot of things, Frankie. Right now, it's a streetcar named Desire. Woo! Oh, there's a little bit left. Should I just oh, like tongue it out? Just get all of it out. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you can't cut the mustard, lick the jar, right? That's right. Woo! All right. So, Marilyn, before we go, what would you like to tell the people about Shea Marilyn's? What What is it that sets your place apart from all the other places? Everything. Everything? <laughs> everything we have, everything we have to offer. It's a wonderful, um, comfortable, friendly uh, cocktail lounge, nice patio, nice bar, great awesome. dining Great cool. dining room. Perfect. Uh, I bet that's about everything. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to go on to the next place. Thank you very much. That was delicious. How's my mustache? Is it good? Is it good? Are we good? Give it a little wipey wipe. All right. So we're going to go to the next place, and we got a little bit of time. So I'm going to tell you about what you're missing right now. And I'm not saying this area of Alton is not perfect. If anything, it is 
Amazing. But just outside of here, we have a bar called Elijah P's. Amazing whiskey selection. Great beer selection. Oh, man. And you can spend hours there eating portobello burgers, eating ketchup. Oh, their spicy ketchup is to die for. And Alton has its own brewery. It's called Old Bakery. It's a little bit that way. And at Old Bakery, you can get Alton brewed beer. I believe most of it's organic even, and I think a lot of it is locally sourced. And it's delicious. Great menu and everything. And here we have Cat Daddy's. It's a little bit of a neighborhood dive. Good place to go. But, you know, we got to keep moving. Anyways, right there is the Arden Mills Grain Silo, probably the biggest structure in Alton. I've grown up with it since I was a little kid, and I always thought that was a skyscraper, because, I mean, who wouldn't? Across the street there, we have the Raging Cajun. We're going to find out a lot more about them later. Trust me on that. And the best part about Alden, if you ask me, I'm kind of one of those guys who likes to get a little weird, likes to party a little bit. On weekdays, the bars don't have to close until 2 in the morning. Weekends, bars don't have to close till 3 in the morning. So whoever told you nothing good happens after midnight was not from Alton, Illinois. Trust me, a lot of good things happen after midnight here. And we have a great taxi service. All right, over here... We have Luciana's Pastries. And one thing I can tell you about Luciana's Pastries, they have the best baklava I have ever tasted. And I am a guy who eats baklava. Look at this belly. You don't get this belly not by eating baklava. Oh, and right there, somebody's car almost ran into. Over here is Lincoln Lofts. Lincoln, I believe, used to stay here whenever he was uh, doing lawyer stuff. You know, traveling around Illinois, arguing cases and the like. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, what do you think about the Big Muddy Pub? Do you like it? I like it. Do you like it? Yes. What do you think about Alton? Do you like it? It's all right. Are you from Alton? I'm, uh, I'm from Alton. I live in Godfrey. Alton, Godfrey, same place. Yeah. That is the Big Muddy Pub. It is a really great place to just stop in and have a drink. Super friendly, very accommodating. And in the midst of all these great places to drink and dine, we have Riverbend Yoga. Awesome. They do acrobatic yoga and stuff. I have seen the things they've done there, and I had no idea human beings could bend or pose or look that good doing it. And here, Morrison's Irish Pub, the next step on our awesome adventure. Hey! hey I'm, oh, I mean, you mean welcome back, you say, right? Welcome back. Welcome back to Morrison's. Hold on, hold on. Let me shove this microphone in your face and ask you a few questions. What's your name? My name is Mary. Your name is Mary what? Mary Van Kirk, but I am a Morrison by birth. A Morrison by birth. So this is an Irish pub, right? Yes, it is. So Irish food, Irish drink. What is... Irish drink, lots of Irish whiskey, lots of Irish beer. Oh, we got we to gotta, we gotta get a shot of this Irish whiskey. I tell you what, this is an amazing collection. Oh, goodness me. Oh, the red in my mustache is tickling right now over this selection. Irish whiskey. What's your favorite, Mary? There is, it's hard to choose a favorite. It depends on your mood. It depends on if I want something to sip, if I want something to shoot, if I want something smooth, or I want something sweet. I tell you what, how about I give you a taste of power? I've had many tastes and many powers, but it's never been whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so, with whiskey, with a lot of Irish whiskey, with a lot of Irish whiskey, you get stories. So if you notice, no matter what kind of powers, you got three birds on there. And I asked what that was. So it's three swallows. So that's because John Powers felt very strongly with a shot of his whiskey. You should finish it in three swallows. Is that a requirement? Because usually I finish my whiskey in one swallow. There is no wrong way to drink a whiskey. Ooh, I like that. Uh, you said we have a question. Do they have Powers whiskey? That was the question. Here is your answer. Do they have Powers whiskey? Yes. They have three varieties of it. And uh, I'm about to taste this one. What's this one called? This is your gold label. Gold label? 
breaking out the fancies for me, huh? Only for me. All right, all right. Well, let's 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 have a little bit of this. Oh. That's good whiskey. Mmm. Oh. Our friendship will always remain. For how can you tell when we say our farewell? When will we all meet again? Yes. The earth will be wide around the fireside. And we'll soon make room for you. So let your heart have no fear. There are no strangers here. Just friends, but he never Woo! That was a good pub jam there. Oh, whoa, what is this? I don't know if I'll have time to eat all of this, yeah, but... Well, we can pack it up for you. That's uh, whiskey glazed salmon oh. with parsnips. And, of course, if you've never had parsnips, we cook them with butter, brown, or Irish butter, brown sugar, and whiskey. So what's not to like? Is there anything here not cooked in whiskey? <laughs> yes, we cook some things in Guinness and some things in a red Cabernet. <laughs> all right, I was going to say, even I'm cooked in whiskey at this point. Is this Does this require a fork? Oh, let's bring out a fork. So this is parsnips, you say. You know I love these. You know they're my weakness. Oh, wow, this is delicious. Mm. But pack it up for me. I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. You know I'm always coming back. All right, to the next adventure. Woo! All right. Going past the Irish flag. Phew. Oh, it's you guys again. Still like an Alton? Yeah, I love it. Love it. <laughs> You'll give it. You better give it four thumbs up right now. <laughs> Woo! All right. How about that? And uh, straight to the back. Ooh. Hey. Hey, not bad. How about you? Awesome. Well, you know, we are here on behalf of Illinois. I believe the entire state is broadcasting live everywhere. And I want to ask you a little bit about State Street Market. I know you have amazing salads. We do. So uh, tell me a little bit more. This is the owner, Bo, and he can in detail tell you all about the place. Oh, tell me a little bit about this place, Bo. Hold on. Let me, let me get all snug next to you so we're both in frame. Well, it's uh, it's a uh, primarily a lunch and uh, um, you know special event venue, but as you can see, we also have evenings uh, once a week here on Thursdays where we pro provide great wine, uh, incredible music, and a, a small tapas plate menu, and uh, we also do Saturday brunch. Ooh, I, I've eaten lunch a, t a time or two here, and it's always so good for how much it costs. It's it's very very cheap, and the salad. Can you tell me a little bit about the salads? I'm sorry, I'm a little obsessed. Yeah, well, well, I appreciate your obsession with our salads. Uh, they are they're organic, they're fresh. Uh, we have four different kinds. That uh, um, you know, we have a, a healthy blue salad, we have a, a farm salad, and we also have our Mediterranean, and then we also have our harvest salad. And all four of them are equally delicious in their own right. I, I think I've had a, a few of those. So uh, Thursday night, you open up and you have wine and music. You say? Yeah, we have wine, beer, mimosas, sangrias, live music. We have a beautiful courtyard when it's not too hot for people to enjoy. And it's just a nice, casual dining atmosphere where people can come and chat and listen to great music and enjoy company with one another. I'm digging this uh, this groove going on right now. Uh, who's this up there? That is Bud Summers. Yes, it's Bud Summers. Um, great guitarist. He does a wide variety of music from uh, 70s, 80s, pop, blues, jazz. He's he plays a little of everything from country. Yeah. This is a good good jam to drink mimosas to, I will tell you that much. Pretty much anything, actually. Yeah, beer, wine, mimosas, for sure. So, I noticed you have a pretty pretty great wine selection going on. Can you tell me a little bit about it? You bet. We have uh, approximately 80 to 85 different wines, uh, red, white, sparklings, rosés. Um, we try to uh, cater 
to the community with wines at retail price instead of inflated restaurant price. So uh, we want to encourage people coming to get wine to go, but also really encourage them to drink wine here inexpensively and enjoy the space that we have here. What's your uh, what's your favorite wine you carry? Do you have a favorite? I do have a favorite. It's called Carne Humana White Blend. It's actually uh, made by the grandson of uh, the Camus family out of Napa. His name is Joseph Wagner. It's a Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnay blend, and it's to die for. It's incredible. Ooh, uh, do you have any of that out now? I'd like to see a bottle of it. Ooh, let's see this wine. Oh, goodness. Oh, that looks real nice, real nice. So I'm, I'm guessing you're one of the few places around to get, get this wine, right? Uh, as far as I know, we're the only one here in town. That's great, yeah. Ooh. I mean, it sounds like that alone's a great reason to come out here. And do you serve wine in the day, or is it just a Thursday night thing? Anytime we're open, we sell wine. And uh, what are your usual hours? On Tuesday through Friday, we're 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, Thursdays, we do stay open in extended hours. We are actually open from 11 until 9 p.m. And on Saturdays, we're open for our brunch and lunch, and that's from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Perfect. And besides the salad, what else is on your menu? Well, we have uh, four different kinds of hot paninis. We have three different types of cold deli and vegetable, vegetarian sandwiches. Uh, We have crepes, savory crepes and dessert crepes, and soups. We make homemade soups. We have two that we offer each day. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks very much. I'm probably going to head on to the next place, but I might come back later and uh, try some of that good wine you're talking about. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Have a good one. Man, that's groovy. All right, back out on the streets. Going past Lincoln Lofts. There's a few more bars up the street a little bit. We're not going to get to them today. But if you ever come here, I would suggest you get to them. The first one up here is called 300 State. It's a great bar. Awesome punk rock bands. Honestly, um, one of the singers from the Misfits played up there, and punk rock Misfits goes hand in hand. Amazing wings, amazing pizza. You're real excited to eat that pizza, aren't you? Yeah, you're excited. That's some good pizza there. We have Don and Penny's. It's an amazing, amazing neighborhood bar. Then we have the Firehouse. I've had some great times at the Firehouse. One time this guy bought me Patron for the entire evening and let me eat nachos that he found. Anyway, let's make our way across the street, looking both ways, waving high. All right, over here we have a Trader Guns and Ammo. There's an Elvis statue in there that I'm always eyeing up, but I'm never buying. I mean, I can't say, oh, look at that bear. All right, yeah, that, that's, that's a great, a great place. Anyway, up next we have the Raging Cajun, one of my favorite bars in town. Absolute favorite. Oh, hey, not bad. Here we have a shrimp dog. Give me a high five. You're live for the whole world to see. We're streaming this. Hi, Lauren. Not bad, not bad at all. And, uh, you know, I'm always having fun. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You, you have that recording studio, right, Lighthouse Sounds? Alton has a recording studio right up the road. You manage it, right? Yep. Lighthouse Sounds. It's great. Check it out. And uh, I believe I have some tacos coming, if I'm not mistaken here. Let me go up a little bit. Oh, hey. Oh, look at this table of people. Hey, I'm I'm actually broadcasting live for the whole world right now. And uh, I want to know what you think of this. Wait, wait, wait. You got some of these tacos? They're awesome. Sarah, tell me about these tacos. They are super spicy, super flavorful. I got the alligator. Uh, this is like the only place in town you can get gator tacos. Yeah, they're delicious. And uh, what what'd you get there? I see a pickle. I got the black and blue Bayou burger, and it is fantastic. Ooh. Blue you cheese, got- bacon. I got mine with no onions, personal preference, but it's really good. You going to eat that pickle? Yeah, of course I want this pickle. Give me that pickle. All right, what do you got? I have the strawberry pecan salad with poppy seed dressing. 
Dang, I've never had that. Is it good? Have you, have you, you like a bite? <laughs> I'm already eating this pickle. I feel okay. like my palate has been I'll, ruined I'll, by pickles. I'll, 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 like, try it. You're watching. Mmm, AJ. How you doing, Gordon? Oh, not bad. AJ, here, you, you work here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Tell That's me a little bit about this place. It's a really great establishment. It's been here for about six years, dueling pianos, uh, mute, live music every Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. Come in and see us. Upstairs bars open on the weekends, too, so be sure to come back, have good food and good drinks. Doing pianos, that's that's not like doing banjos, right? Well, I mean, it can be. Just, I mean, it is. If you bring your banjo or not, I guess. Are you allowed to bring your banjo? Why not? Everyone's allowed to come and have fun. Fair. Awesome. And tell me a little bit about the, um, the food here. I see that I've already walked around sniffing everyone's food. What is the specialty here? Well, we're definitely known for our Cajun food, so we have lots and lots of Cajun classics like etouffee. We've got gumbo all the time. Um, we've got tons and tons of crawfish, crawfish boils with clams, mussels, corn, and red potatoes. Come in and see us. Lots and lots of good Cajun classic food. Awesome. And I know the drinks here are very strong. I know this from personal experience. So if you want to come enjoy piano music, enjoy some good Cajun food, and enjoy some strong drinks, and they're they're pretty cheap. Oh, yeah. And I've noticed there's always new ones. Like, are the bartenders always concocting something new? Always coming up with new drinks. Every week there's new drink specials on the list. So come in and see us. The Get... Sandy Beach is excellent. The Sandy Beach is excellent. I know that for facts. I have had it. Innovation is the heart of good drinks. Awesome, awesome. So I guess we're going to go to our next place. No? Oh, oh, we got more stuff here? More tacos? Oh, I should go inside and get air. No, no inside. Oh, there's not service inside. Awesome. Well, let me talk to a few more patrons. Let's talk to Shrimp Dog a bit more. Shrimp Dog, why are you here tonight? Tell me about the Raging Cajun and why you love it. We actually just got back from the Lake of the Ozarks, and we are here because it's our favorite place in town. We like the food. We like the food, and they have good prices on beer. They do have good prices on beer. What about you, Lauren? Why are you here? Same reason? For beer. For beer. You can't come up with anything more original than for beer. What, what kind of beer are you drinking there? Strawberry Abita. Strawberry Abita? This place actually has a great beer menu. Oh, they're bringing my tacos? That is the best news I have heard all day. Wait, no, you clap more for that. Do you understand how good these tacos are, Brennan? I've never had their tacos. You've never had their tacos? Don't yell at me. No, I haven't. The drinks are really good. Well, the drinks are really good, but... Uh, what you got there? Huckleberry lemonade. Huckleberry lemonade? Huckleberry vodka and lemonade. If I were a girl, that would have been my name. Huckleberry? Or no, no, Huckleberry lemonade. Whole. That's a full name you got there. It does kind of taste like strawberry cheesecake. Oh, we have a question. What is it? A guy wants to know how spicy are the tacos. Well, a guy who wants to know how spicy the tacos are, I'm waiting for them. In case you can't see, look at me. I'm doing the I'm doing the pee pee dance, and I don't even have to pee pee. I have to get tacos. But from personal experience, they're spicy enough that you know they're spicy, but they're not too spicy. They're just the right amount of spicy. I mean, come on, it's a Cajun place, and it's alligator. Oh, it's Aaron with the tacos. Oh, you are the best, best man of. Oh, you're gonna let me. You're gonna help me with these tacos. You are a saint. No, no, no. You can have some taco. We've got. Uh, it, it, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That is. That's even better. That's a good taco. Mmm. That is a perfect amount of cilantro and spice. Holy monkey! This is great. One of the only places you can get a black and alligator taco. Mmm. Yeah. No. Come over to the mic. Tell me more about this. You talk, I eat. I've got one of each one of them for you. We've got a black and alligator taco, black and shrimp taco, and a black and chicken taco for the people that don't like seafood. Little options for everybody. Of course, wash it down with a hurricane. Mm. Hopefully you don't have too many more spot stops to make tonight. Mm. Oh, you know me. I'm always wondering. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know you wanted to say how good they were. Aaron, talk a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was a tragedy. Yeah. Aaron, talk about your bars. I eat the tacos. 
Well, this is the Raging Cajun Piano Bar. We've been here for a little over six years. Uh, we've got everything going on. We've got great food specials during the week that are always different. We've got awesome entertainment on the weekend with dueling pianos. We've got a second-story bar that's open on Friday and Saturday with a banquet facility that's available as well. So it's definitely a spot you have to come check out. Can you wrap this? Can you wrap these up for me? Oh my God! Thank you. And this hurricane is delicious as well. Ah, so is that on the next one? Yeah, go ahead. Some more hurricanes. Anyway. This is the best hurricane I've ever tasted. And I will tell you one thing. This hurricane is not too sweet. Most hurricanes, they're like drinking like candy. This one, this one has substance. And I will come back to you, tacos and hurricane. Oh, are you trying to max on my hurricane? Oh, you can have some. You, you gave me some huckleberry lemonade. It's great. I'll be back for all of those things, Aaron. All right, I have a long good. night ahead of me. Thanks for stopping by. All right, come on. My teeth in the best way possible. It's a lot of gallery. I love this place. It's full of awesome art on the outside. Like, look at this. Beautiful pottery, beautiful painting. Oh, they can't hear. He needs to. Okay. So far, everything I've been showing you has been mostly adult oriented. How the heck? safe place for kids and teens and tweens to go enjoy a night out, enjoy a dance enjoy a little bit of music out there they have all sorts of games Tom, hold on Say, I work up there in the second floor and I'm tempted to just come down Say, hold on a second hold on, hold on a second hold on a second alright, we're sorry we had some technical difficulties apparently I'm Dropsy and I dropped the microphone into some things that a microphone shouldn't be dropped into and possibly turned it off over there, we have Max. Max is a fine sports bar. Amazing pizza. Some of the best pizza you can get in town. All sorts of different drinks. Friendly bartenders. Everything's fun there. Lugan Insurance. Look in there. That's a real Dalmatian. How many places in... Oh, wow, I spooked it. Bork, 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 bork. I have given you a spookin. I am sorry. All right. Don't spook the Dalmatian. Lesson learned. Ooh, we get to go to Bossa Nova's next. Bossa Nova is owned by the same guy who owns Elijah Pease, which you haven't seen, but amazing whiskey selection. Bossa Nova's has amazing martinis. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to have us a time tonight. Are we, are we going in here? Because it's very, very nice outside. Oh, we're going in. This is one of my favorite atmospheres in downtown Alton. Hey! How's it going? It's going well. Hey, can you, uh, can you give me your name and tell me a little bit about uh, Bossa Nova? Uh, my name is Jill, and it's a martini bar. We specialize in martinis. What's your favorite martini? Uh, probably the Golden Gun. It is a lemon-flavored one, lemon drop-flavored. Ooh, Golden Gun, like the Bond movie? Like the Bond movie. All of our martinis are um, named after Bond characters. Oh, really? And the Golden Gun's your favorite. How long have you been working here? I've been here twelve, uh, going on 12 years. How long has this place been open? Going on 12 years. So you've been here since the day it started. I've been here since the day it started. Ooh, tell me a little bit about the food here. Dude, uh... We have a little bit of everything. We specialize. We have some salads, a little pizzette, entrees, a little bit of everything. I've had the pizzettes or pizzettes. How do you say that? Is it pizzettes or pizzettes? Either way. Either way works. I have had, like, the Thai peanut. Uh, That one is by far, by far my favorite. Um, Would you mind maybe making up a little martini? Maybe make up a golden gun? Awesome. Awesome. Let's see this. Sugar on the rim. Is that a specialty for all martinis or just just this one? Ooh. Okay, a couple, a couple. I still feel special. You can't take that away. 
A little bit of ice. Ooh, a little bit of sugar. Is it shaken but not stirred? Shaken but not stirred. That's the way I like it. Ooh. Nice, nice. So why are all the martinis named after Bond things? Interesting. I like that. It kind of sets it apart. So how many martinis do you have? Uh, roughly 20. 20 martinis. How do you come up with enough Bond characters to do that? I mean, uh, I, do, do you have a Daniel Craig at this point? No, we don't. No, you don't have a Daniel Craig. He started doing Austin Powers when he ran out of... Uh, when he ran out of James Bond characters, he started doing Austin Powers. Groovy, baby. All right. So uh, what, what kind of Austin Powers ones do we have? Oh, uh, what else? Oh, menu time? Look at the menu real quick. All right. All right. What do we have here? We have the 007, the Goldfinger, the Q, the Golden Gun, which I'm about to have. And you said it's a lemon drop martini. Why is that one your favorite? I just like citrus. Nice, nice. I've had a few chocolate martinis from here. And they're very popular. Very popular? martini is one of the most popular. Mmm. So how popular is the Golden Gun? Is it a, a more eclectic or is it everyone? It's really popular as well. All right. Let, let, let me give this a tasting. Mmm. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. So, this place has been open for about, what, 12, 13 years? Has anything majorly changed, or is it pretty much everything's great? Same. Pretty much stayed the same? Awesome, awesome. Do you still have that goat cheese salad? We still have the warm goat cheese salad. Ooh, that warm goat cheese salad. I remember one night, I, I, hadn't, I had not turned 21 yet. I came here, and I thought to myself, mmm, this place looks really fancy. I don't know if I'm going to fit in here. I was, a little, I was a little nervous when I walked in, and I felt so at home. And I sat in a booth, and I looked at the menu, and I was like, this is a warm goat cheese. I've never had goat cheese. This is the first place I tasted goat cheese, and I love it. It's one of my favorite foods to this very day. Ever since then, I've been trying to make salads that match this salad. Mmm. Mmm. So is this your favorite one to drink and make? Yes. Nice, nice. How many martinis do you think you've made since you've been here? Oh, goodness. Uh, hard to say. Hard to say. Do you think it's in the millions yet? Uh, perhaps. After 12 years, probably so. Do you ever have, like, nightmares that you're in a martini shaker and you can't get out? Yeah. I could, I could no, not really that, but uh, <laughs> I, I could probably make them in my sleep. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. And also, this place is the first place I've ever had absinthe. Yes. You still have absinthe. I still have absinthe. And a lot of that, we do it the proper way where you light the sugar cube on fire. And uh, burn it and stir it up. Light the sugar cube on fire. Would you trust me to light a sugar cube on fire? I usually do the lighting. That's that's a pretty good idea you have there. You never trust me with fire, especially in the drinking establishment. I mean, man. So when did you get absent in here? We've had it probably since we've opened, actually. It just didn't become popular until a few years ago. It seemed to be all the rage. Awesome. Do you think that's one of your more popular drinks, or still the chocolate martini, huh? Yeah, probably still the chocolate martini. Mmm. And those chocolate martinis pack a punch. Yes, they do. I, I mean, I'm a large man. I cannot finish more than maybe two or three of those. Two's probably enough. Two's probably two is probably enough. But you know, gotta push the limits. Gotta go for three. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. So. Do I want to take my drink outside and talk to people? Of course I want to take my drink outside and talk to people, but I'll miss you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, this is a fine bunch of people. We are. How did you not realize that? I've realized that for a long time. Yeah, I'm actually doing this for the tourism board. Doing a little uh, little World Wide Web tour of downtown Alton. World Wide Web. And I know you from school board meetings. Correct? Awesome. What are you eating there? I'm having a Mediterranean salad and a glass of wine. How do you feel about that? Wonderful. Is this your favorite place to do that? Absolutely. 
Awesome. And what about you, Mr. Huber? This is the Alton Township Supervisor, correct? I got your title? Yes. What are you enjoying today? This beer. What is that beer? It's a heart beer. It's a what beer? It's an Irish beer. An Irish beer? And I, I would know that drink anywhere. That is a mojito. Oh. Jill makes amazing mojitos. I almost asked for a mojito, got a golden gum. I'm not disappointed. That's great. Are you having the same thing she's having, though? You're sharing. I did see you come out of the real estate office across the street. Awesome. So that's a Mediterranean salad. What's in that? It looks like olives, pepperoni. Think of a Greek salad. Think of a Greek salad. I am thinking of a Greek salad, but I'm looking at this. We'll raise it up a couple exponents. Not, not even like standard variations, just exponents. That's that good. Correlation coefficient. It doesn't matter. It's really good, though, right? And how are you liking your mojito there? It's really good. Yeah, and I like that it's Bossanova. It's sort of our starting point. You can always start at Bossanova, and you're always welcome here, and they've always got good food and good drinks, and we can sit outside when the weather's good or go inside when the weather's bad. I love that. It's our it's your own personal cheers. If you go in there, does everyone say, hey, Vicky? Vivian. Vivian. I got your name wrong. I'm so sorry. I, I feel so terrible. I feel awful. I have to take two more sips of this martini. It is delicious, though. Mm. So, let's talk to these people over here. You, you're very wonderful. Hi. Hi. We're, we're, we're broadcasting for the... For Alton, the Illinois Tourism Board, I was wondering how you're enjoying your uh, your drinks out here at, at Bossa Nova's. Wonderful. It's awesome. Awesome? Awesome. Awesome. Well, what you got there? I have an ice pack. A what? <laughs> what, what it's vodka and iced tea. It's vodka and iced tea. It's called an ice pick? I'm sorry. I don't mean to give away secrets. Oh, look at me go. It, awesome. You love Alton. We love Alton. We love Alton. We love Dr. Well, why do you love Alton? Well, it's just a really unique little community. I mean, it has great restaurants. It has its own little uh, brewery now. Old bakery. Yep. Just right down the way over there. They actually, a lot of their stuff is brewed from stuff around here, and it's mostly organic. It's amazing. What's your favorite old bakery beer? Oh, I like all of them. You like all of them? I like the sweet potato chai, and I also had the hibiscus the other day. Ooh, it's good. I don't usually like sour beers. I like that sour beer. It was a great sour beer. Wait, what'd you say? You say that again and louder with pride. No, I, I, you heard me. I know I heard you, but they didn't hear you. I said the English pale ale is one of the finest craft beers I've ever tasted. The English Pale Ale is one of the finest craft beers he's ever tasted. And you have tasted a lot of craft beers. I saw your brewery presentation there. Mmm, awesome. So we're going to go down to Tony's? Awesome, let's go down to Tony's. You all have been very wonderful. Oh, that is alcohol abuse. All right, hold on. Beautiful. That was delicious. Over here we have mosaics. Amazing dresses, amazing purses. I don't get my dresses and purses from there. I'm cheap. I go to Goodwill. Over here we have the olive oil marketplace. And I have a thing or two to say about the olive oil marketplace. Before I came to this place, I thought olive oil was just something you cook food in. Oh, no. It's much more than that. You go in there, they have so many flavors of olive oil, and they're all delicious. They all pair with different things. You will learn so much about olive oil if you walk in there. And also, they have a very great extensive hot sauce collection. Amazing hot sauce collection. So I believe this is the oldest place on our tour, Tony's. It's been in business for 60-something years now. Great outdoor dining, and it has an amazing Prohibition Lounge. Let's check it out. Oh, hey, how's it going? Doing great, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I've been walking around, drinking, eating, having myself a time. How about you? Sounds good. Awesome. So, 
What is your name and what do you do at Tony's? My name is Beth. I'm the floor manager here at Tony's. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about Tony's and how it's set apart from the rest of the places downtown. Uh, Tony's has been here since 1954. Uh, we have casual dining all the way to elegant dining. So we have a wide variety going on, whether you're craving pizza and wings or steak and shrimp, we pretty much have you covered. What would you say is your best menu item? I would say our signature steak, which is our 12-ounce marinated pepper loin. That 12-ounce marinated pepper loin is one of my favorite things on this planet, not just in this town, on this whole planet. I also really like your pastas. Really like your pasta. So tell me a little bit about how everything's made here. Uh, everything is handmade in the kitchen. Uh, we have our kitchen staff that's been doing this for quite a long time. Uh, we serve food in our dining rooms. Our kitchen is open until, let's say, from 4 to 10. And then on the weekends, it's open from 4 to 11. 4 to 11. So if it's about 1030, I'm moseying my way into this Prohibition Lounge. Look at this amazing beer selection and go... I want to drink some of these beers, but I also want to have some real good food. You got me covered. You can do that. We have a full menu. The same menu that's available in our dining rooms is available out here in the Prohibition Lounge. Awesome. And what's the difference between the Prohibition Lounge and the dining area? Well, out here we have 17 televisions. It's a little more casual atmosphere. We have the 30 craft beers on tap, although those are available in the dining room as well. Ooh. So um, those 30 craft beers... Are they constant, or are they always changing? They change. They change a lot. Ooh. So, in other words, if I came here on today and then I came here in a few months, they're going to be very different, right? Yes. Yes. How do you select those beers? Uh, we usually go by demand. Uh, we were one of the first restaurants and bars in this area that have the craft beer. And as the popularity gained and we attained more buying power, we were able to lower our prices, so we have a lot of pints, uh, 20 different pints now for $4 each. $4 each. That is really, really, really good. So I know Tony's has amazing food. You're known for that pepper loin steak. Do you have a signature drink? Our signature drink would be our LV Martini, and that comes with blue cheese stuffed olives and three olives vodka. Blue cheese stuffed olives and a martini? I've never had that. Oh, I'll have to try it someday. I might I might be a little martinied out right now, but so how how have you been in business for 1954? Is that 65 years? I'm not good at math. I'm yeah. terrible at math. It's a family-run restaurant. It was opened by Tony and Edie Ventimiglia back in 1954, and we've expanded the restaurant. Back during the flood of '93, they took this area and turned it into the lounge area. Oh yeah, that happened back then. Awesome. I remember there used to be bar bingo here and all sorts of fun stuff. And I came here, and I know the first time I ever said, wow, I really love craft beer was here. I had probably just turned 21. I'm 27 now. And I came in here, and I looked at this beer selection, and I think I saw something called, like, Old Rasputin. Yes. And yes. I just said, you know what? I want to be Russian mystic drunk. Yeah. And it it happened. It was great. It was amazing. So why were you one of the first ones to turn to craft beer? Uh, Leonard saw that it was gaining popularity in other areas, and he just wanted to bring it to our town. Hmm, I like that. I really, really like that. So uh, what is the most popular beer you have on tap right now? Uh, probably our most popular right now would be one of the Schlafly's, uh, the Frambois, which is a raspberry beer. That's really popular, too. Awesome. And I see you serve flights, eh? Yeah, you like the beer, you choose any four of our 30 craft beers for seven ninety nine. We also have a larger flight. Did, did you just say you have a larger flight? We do have a larger flight. How many is in the large Six flight? This is in the large flight, and it's nine ninety nine every day. Nine ninety nine. That is, that's ridiculous. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do you, do you know what kind of beers are in this one right now? What did you pour out? Oh, this is for me. This is for you. Oh, man, you people are so kind. I have Moose Rule Brown Ale. I have Schlafly Heffenweizen. And then this is uh, the Lindemann Framois, which is a raspberry beer from Belgium. Raspberry beer from Belgium. Schlafly's from St. Louis, correct? Correct. Awesome. And do you have a lot of St. Louis brews here? Uh, we have the, uh, the Four Hands Red Centennial Ale, which is a uh, St. Louis brewery. And then we have uh, five different kinds of Schlafly. 
on uh, tap at all times. Uh, right now we have the Pale Ale, we have the Special Release Tasmania IPA, we have Heffenweizen, we have Raspberry Heffenweizen, and we have uh, Kolsch, which is a German style. Beer. Ooh, do you have a personal favorite beer on the menu? Um, I'm probably more of a like a Hefeweizen or a Blue Moon kind of guy. I like a, either the wheat or the lighter beers. I'm not too much into the Guinness or the uh, the stouts. I, I'm on the other end of that spectrum. I love a hearty stout. I mean, look at me. I look like I'm hearty and stout. What about you? Do you have a favorite beer here? I don't have a favorite beer. It's kind of hard to choose. I would say so. Have you sampled a little bit of everything or just, you know? I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that. I would say I have sampled a strong amount of things on there. So, oh, sorry. So this is raspberry. You say raspberry framboise from Belgium. Yeah, so that's one of our more popular beers. We have that on tap all the time. We don't switch that one out. Everyone likes it so well. You, you. How long has it been since you switched it out? Probably since we we've, we've had it. We've had it for the duration. The only time I've never had it is if they were out. Yeah. Interesting. You said they're out, so it's limited supply. Sometimes they they run out. Awesome, awesome. I'm I'm gonna try a little sippy poo of this if you don't mind. Let me let me try this awesome Belgium raspberry beer. Raspberry. That is one of the best things I've tasted that tastes like raspberries. It actually it's made with real raspberries, right? Yes. Now you, you can see why it's so popular. And what was this one called? Oh, we got to get Jimmy back over here. Jimmy, what is this? This one, that is Schlafly Heffenweizen. Schlafly Heffenweizen. What is a Heffenweizen? It is a, a wheat beer. Now, the thing with Heffenweizen that I learned from uh, one of our Schlafly uh, guys is that if you drink a Schlafly Heffenweizen at the end of the night, uh, there's something in the east of the Heffenweizen beers that it will not, it'll eat the alcohol in your stomach overnight and you won't have a hangover the next day. You won't have a hangover? I'm going to save this one for last. Hey, this, this, is, this, is, this is my last one. Okay, what's, what's this? That is uh, Moose Drool Brown Ale. It's from uh, Big Sky Brewery in Montana. I have had Moose Drool and it is delicious. I'm going to have me a little sippy poo with this. That is hearty. That tastes like hiking through Montana, Absolutely. the entire state. Like, I don't know what a moose drool tastes like, but if it's delicious, it tastes like that. And what do we have there? That is Lost Coast A-Ball Stouts. Lost Coast A-Ball Stouts. Tell me a little bit about that. That is a uh, dark beer. It is a very heavy stout beer. It is um, probably it's our second most popular stout we have on tap right now after Guinness. After Guinness. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try a little sippy poo of this one as well. Eight ball because it's black is the eight ball, right? Absolutely. Ooh, I'm excited. I love a hearty stout. Oh wow, that's actually surprisingly drinkable. I was expecting a little more heaviness to it. That that wasn't. As, I can tell it's a heavy stout, but it drank it drank easier than most IPAs I drink. Really? Yeah. So I guess now let's try to, the Hefeweizen business. Oh, that's delicious. That is. That's a very popular beer, and we also have the Raspberry Hefeweizen on tap for the summer as well tonight. The Raspberry Hefeweizen? So you have two types of Hefeweizens. So just like these hangover destroyers, right? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. What, what is it about the yeast that destroys the hangover? It just eats eats whatever alcohol is previously in your stomach. You put the Hefeweizen yeast in your stomach, and it it sits there, and it'll eat that eat that eat that alcohol overnight and get rid of it. You won't it won't have time to go through your body like it would not normally would. Awesome, awesome. I think we're gonna step outside and talk to a few people, bother them a little bit. I will be back for that. I'll leave that right there. You better leave that. There are so many things left for me right now. I'm going to have me an evening in Alton. Oh, Alton is one of the best places to have a weird evening. All right, all right, we have lots of diners. Who needs to be interrupted right now? Nope, 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 not them, not them. They don't want to be. Hi. Hey, I'm, I'm actually um, I'm with the Alton 
Convention and Visitors Bureau, and we are with the state. Oh, what is my name? You think I'm young. I'm Corey Davenport. What is your name? Young man. I wish I was running for office. I'm usually running from offices, or officers, if you will. you got politician all written all over you. I'm C.J. Crater. I have politician written all over me? Well, then you better get an eraser. Are you are you being paid to do this, or are you uh, out promoting it? Am I being paid to do No, we're actually broadcasting live to the whole world right now. Peace out, world. Peace out, world. That, that means goodbye. Okay. Oh. <laughs> have dessert so you still have dessert well what kind of dessert are you gonna have no we haven't got to see the tray yet about to bring, have you seen it when you were inside doing your little tour wait there's a there's a dessert tray bringing out the dessert tray just sit there and keep rolling okay so he's about to bring out this dessert tray and we're gonna pick something out oh do you do you like the phrase of my jeans who fixed them for you who fixed them for me you act like i didn't fix these myself i know i kid you not i fixed these myself I patch up my own jeans. Am I an artist? I mean, some could say I'm an artist. Most people would say I'm a charlatan and a fraud. Do you repeat every question you hear? Does that give you some time to process? Time to process. You can't tell everyone my tricks, man. Come on. you got to leave mystery happening. So what you're trying to say what's happening out on the street? 